If you want to start selling 3D models online, you probably want to know about some of the things that you should do and most importantly, some of the mistakes that you should avoid to start generating some income from selling your art online. In this video, we're going to talk about 8 mistakes that you should avoid. Number 8. Be good first, sell later. One of the main reasons why a lot of people don't see results when it comes to selling 3D models online is the fact that they want to sell their work more than they want to be good at it. This mistake is probably why most people don't see results in this field and why they get frustrated, quit and then they tell themselves that the market does not really want their models. I would say that the market needs your models but they need it to be good first. I am sure that if you are new to this field of selling 3D models you will realize this fact sooner or later. But it is better to learn this lesson early to avoid the frustration that might occur during the process. Good 3D artists don't tell you this, but they know that there are tons of beginners out there who try to sell tons of low quality models. So what these good 3D model sellers do is they create high quality models with reasonable prices. You see, good 3D artists value their time by creating high quality models that have a higher potential of being sold and they value quality over quantity. Because this is where the evolution of the industry is taking us right now. Number 7. Try different categories. In the early stages of learning how to make money selling 3D models, you must try different categories in order to test and see for yourself what kind of 3D models artists and studios are willing to pay for. You can do your research with the process of trial and error to figure out what is going to work for you. And you can later expand your collection from there if you need to. But first, you need to start with something that does sell. This is important because as a beginner you don't have experience and experienced sellers are kind of secretive about their techniques and methods when it comes to what works and what doesn't. Actually, I think people who do make a living from selling 3D models probably will not be happy about the fact that we are making videos and teaching new people about the secrets and strategies of selling 3D models simply because this industry has become competitive and saturated to a certain extent. But there are still opportunities to make money if you have the right mindset and skills. This video is brought to you by Sketchfab, a platform for buying and selling 3D models online. Their store has a lot of high quality models to choose from using a great model inspector. Links in the description. Number 6. Learn from good sellers. If you are a smart artist who does not only know how to play with polygons and vertices, then you must try to learn from successful people who sell 3D models. This sector of the computer graphics industry is not the most beginner friendly and selling 3D models is not a subject that artists want to talk about because as we said before, if they do it will generate more competition for them which means less money for them of course. But regardless of this fact, you can actually learn from successful 3D artists in the marketplace by observing what they do, not by trying to listen to what they are not telling you. For example, you can take a look at the categories they focus on, which will give you an idea about the section of the marketplace that is in high demand and what is not. Overall, as I said, you need to experiment for yourself and see what works and what doesn't, but it is not going to hurt to expand your knowledge about the subject. Actually, one of the best and practical ways of learning from professional 3D model sellers is to observe how they organize their description and tags, which plays a huge role in attracting the right customers to your models, as we said in the previous video. This is important because, first of all, if you have a clear organized description, it will indirectly tell the buyer that you are very good at what you do and understand the needs of clients. Second of all, the description under your model can be a very important factor when it comes to whether the buyer is going to buy or not. Because if you give them direct and clear information about what they should expect when they buy your model, they are more likely to do so. Also using the advanced model inspector in Sketchfab, you will be able to see models in detail with all the maps and textures which can be of great help if you want to see all the details about the process of modeling, texturing and so on. Number 5. Make a plan and follow it. If you are a beginner who does not have any experience selling 3D models or if you have not sold your first 3D model yet, then probably you should focus on that first. But if you have sold few models before and you have an idea about what works and what doesn't, you kind of need to develop a plan or strategy that can help you sell even more. When you create one, you will be more likely to resist the temptation of creating everything and anything, which leads you to spreading yourself too thin. Part of your plan could be selling architectural visualization models, animation models, video game models, or 3D printing models only. 
you can take this to the next level by specializing in a certain area, like creating high quality 3D models for weapons for the first person shooter video games, or 3D printable characters as an example. A plan is important as we said before, because you need to focus to see success in this type of work. Some people who have the resources can dominate all areas and can create models in all categories and in all sections, whether it be models for games, architectural visualization, animation or 3D printing, because they own studios that have tons of artists probably working together on a continuous basis to perform at this level and generate a massive quantity of 3D models. But if you are a solo artist, you need to have a plan if you want to be successful. Number 4. Don't be a pessimist. A lot of people who try to sell 3D models online do have a pessimistic approach to the whole process due to many factors. For example, the fact that a good portion of beginners face the seemingly impossible war or barrier to overcome when they embark in their journey to sell 3D models. This can discourage a lot of people and can make them think that it is impossible to make money in this industry. Sometimes artists become pessimistic when they face the second wall, which is I would say more real than the first one. Artists who have some experience face this wall when they start selling I would say between $300 to $1000 per month. It is kind of hard to overcome, but it is not impossible, if you put in the effort and work on high quality 3D models consistently. And also there is a third kind of wall that I would say is impossible to break if you are working on your own. Usually professional artists who sell models hit this wall when they are selling between I would say $2000 to $5000 per month. The way I see it is that the performance is going to plot to a certain extent unless you have a group of artists who work with you or if you collaborate with a group of artists who work together on creating a huge library of assets that artists and studios can use. And people who can reach this level will have greater opportunities that small individuals don't have access to. Number 3. Don't underestimate the market needs. This is one of the points that we have touched upon briefly in the beginning, but now we have to explain it a little bit more because it is very important. You see, 3D models that you are going to create and sell are going to be used by professionals who will use it in their projects to save time and money. Sometimes people who don't have experience when it comes to creating 3D models will buy models to fill scenes in their architectural visualization projects or they will use them for 3D printing. But if you are selling 3D models for animation, cinematics, or for people who create video games, then I think that you should create models that rise to the people you are selling to. For example, if you are trying to make a game character or a hero asset for a video game, don't expect that people will casually buy it and call it a day. Because in order for them to do so, they need you to make sure that your model is error free, modeled, UV unwrapped, baked, textured, and painted properly. Number 2. Don't undercut other sellers. Also, one of the mistakes that artists with little experience do is undercutting each other in order to sell more. I will tell you right now that this is not going to work and it is not going to generate more sales. On the contrary, you will generate fewer sales and the money you will generate also is going to be less. This is one of the problems that this industry is suffering from right now because people think that this is going to be the best way to make money from selling 3D models online, but the fact is, it is not. Instead of undercutting your competition, try to create a better and higher quality 3D models at the same price that good competitors are selling at, or you can even try and sell it for a higher price because it will give the buyer a subconscious signal that your stuff is of higher quality and better in all aspects compared to the others. A lot of people who have been doing this type of work for years now feel the negative effect of this practice because it is literally bad for everyone and it will destroy the ecosystem completely if it goes out of control. And to be honest, people are witnessing the negative effects already so please don't do it. Number 1. Don't give up when you don't see sales. I would say that the difference between people who can make money from selling 3D models online and those who can is having the ability to keep moving forward and trying again and again until you start generating sales. I'm not going to pretend that it is going to be very easy to make money selling 3D models online, but if you do it long enough and you don't see results, you will have to be flexible by either enhancing the quality of your work or selling in different categories until something clicks. I would say if you have less than 50 good quality 3D models that you are selling on a single marketplace, then you should not really expect to sell a lot. As the saying goes, 
the harder you work, the luckier you get. By this logic, if you have 500 good quality 3D models, you are probably going to sell 10 times more than someone who has only 50 models. And keep in mind that not all models sell the same, because some sell 30 times and some of them don't sell at all. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.